All right, Connor, uh, who has the highest SAT score? We're gonna look at a bunch of smarty pants. Geniuses. Is everybody here going to college, not going to college? Like, oh, what's yeah. the deal? I mean, I'm going to college. Yeah. I'm going to college. Going to college. I'm in college. I'm in college. I'm oh. going to college. I'm going to college. I'm going to college. Okay. Okay. Goes to college. <laughs> when you guys applied to college, did you submit your score? Uh, oh, it was, that's it was mandatory for us. So, did you? I feel like no, no, you I didn't submitted. Submit. All right, quick question: Have you have you taken the SAT? It was during COVID, so yeah. Uh, which which one? Wait, are you talking about the the English one, right? The 1600 one? Yes. Oh man, I hated that exam. Is no matter how many times I tried, I couldn't like up my score past like 1500 or something. Wait, what you get? What you get? Dude, I got like a 1350. I did trash. Oh, I got, I think my highest was like a 1480 or something, but that's after like a million try, like million like mock exams and stuff. It was so annoying because yeah. every mock exam I got like a 1540. In the exam, I panicked and just died. I hate exams, bro. Oh. Dang, bro. I took like one or two tests in the school I go to, like, it was mm -hmm. like test optional during that time. So I'm like, oh, OK, well, I got in, so I don't need to take it again. You know, oh. the English section was way harder for like maths for uh, like in our school, like maths was like a guaranteed because that's like our fourth mm -hmm. grade ma mathematics, honestly. Yeah. It's like genuinely. But then the English section, you have to read so fast. Nobody can keep up like and mm -hmm. you have to digest all that yeah. information. It's cringe. Yeah. It's like I down, down a little bit that way. Yeah. yeah. OK, you said you submitted, right? I submitted. Yeah. Okay. But also, like, I feel like it depends so much on go. the college. Yeah. And you submitted as well, so come down here as well. Yeah. Anybody? I'm, I'm just thinking, like, if you submitted, then you had something to submit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What are we going to study? I'm trying to study engineering, but technically I'm undecided right now. I'm computer science. I'm biochem, but right now I'm taking science. I'm political science. I love this. I love this. All of these are completely irrelevant to the SAT. The SAT is completely useful, useless for all of these. I love it. I love our education True. system. Dog exam, just making, dude, that gave me so much like stress. I hate the SAT so much. Garbage. Yeah, that was not a fun time. Yeah. I won't lie. <laughs> Nobody told me I was gonna end up being a YouTuber, bro. <laughs> Jesus, I wouldn't have done the yeah. goddamn SAT. Communications and media studies. I'm pre-med, I don't know. <laughs> pre-med? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm doing also computer science and maybe like art. I am neuroscience pre-med as well. Oh <laughs> my, big brain. Okay. 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 okay, neuroscience. <laughs> Only liberal I'm arts me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the SAT was like more test strategy than just like intelligence. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. So Facts. I feel like maybe taking AP, like AP classes could help yeah. you compare. So I took nine, but that was the max. Oh, wow. I took six. I only took three. Five. I think I took, I took like two, bro. Took what the hell is an AP class? We don't even have those. Advanced placement? It's just like, uh, yeah, and then you can take a test after, and if you submit, some colleges will allow you to submit certain scores and not have to, and like, get the equivalent of, like, a college credit, but right. it's also kind of inconsistent, and it's weird, mm. but whatever, you know? It's insane how they all, they got us all running in this dog race of a worth nothing like uh, how is this gonna help in my computer science my pre-med this is an english and math test i don't it's so great what we're dumb Hey. <laughs> is that nuts? She took 15 AP that, classes? That's an insane number. <laughs> that's oh, that's she, a really high number. I know she's nuts because she said she does uh, computer science and art. How do you have time to do art when you're doing computer science? You're ridiculous. Yeah. What is this? Five. I took five, so you go this way as well. But also, GPAs, maybe? Yeah, that's a good one. Also, I also think you should come up. Should come up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how far? Wait, oh, wait, we, we got to guess who has the highest. I'm going with this chick, the second girl from the right, bro. I'm taking my uh, pick. Who are you going? I'm going to go the dude walking right now. I'll go him. Oh, OK, the white shirt? Only white shirt, uh, black pants? Yes, black shorts, yeah. OK, all right. All right. Well, I might have just snuck this dub real quick, but we'll yeah, see. I mean, you're a CS major. I got you. Well, me and Emily, we're twins. Yeah. So, we went, <laughs> so we went to the same high school, and I'd say our school had a pretty good emphasis on taking a SAT and doing well. Yeah, I'd also say though that our school valued being like well-rounded, so they didn't just like for us valedictorian, and I was salutatorian, like right on. Oh, here. congratulations! Thanks, <laughs> That's flex, but uh, I feel like Boy. you should like move on. Yeah. 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 Wow, a school that uh, that actually values well balanced. That's like a rarity for us. I literally, dude, yeah. I was so into like table tennis and chess and stuff like that. And then um, I like go to these tournaments and all that stuff. And then finally, like my final exams came for school. I just had to ditch all of it for the entire year because our school literally only values 
uh, grade. So I was like, what the hell is the point of this? Like, I could win and I'd get nothing except like a $10 plastic. Oh, yeah. The trophy I got for winning my table tennis tournament, right? I saw it the next day in the in like the corner store. <laughs> like, it was a plastic rip and, and it That's cost... crazy. They just like really just pulled it up and bought Bro, it. It was, it was literally at the back of the store and it was like this cheap garbage plastic and they printed a sticker on it and it spelled my name wrong. Screw you. <laughs> You said your calculator died mid test, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I so haven't I, introduced I, that, but yeah. I didn't want to. That's got to be top 10 unluckiest things, bro. Jesus. Yeah. I think you should move That's to the so back tough. then. Yeah. I, okay. Okay. Just, well, okay. But I think you can still do well, though, because, like, right, math is just part of it. Okay. Well, That's for my. Half of it. <laughs> well, there's, like, no calculator, points. and then there's calculator. Yeah, good point. Yeah. No yeah. yeah. I'm, I don't remember the exam, but I'm fairly certain you need a calculator. Um, pro yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, Especially you, you need a graphing section, calculator, yeah. if I remember. You need, yeah, like... Yeah, for parts of it. Yeah, bro, you're dead without a calculator. What is the chick saying, bro? Jesus. Calculator's 500 of the 800 Oh, points. really? <laughs> I'm done with that. Do you two oh. want to switch? No, Maybe we should probably. talk about how many times we took the essay. Oh, yeah, that's uh, not my fault. Oh, no. really I took it once. I took it once. once. Yeah. I took it yeah. once. And I didn't take it more than once. I took it twice. I took it twice as well. Bruh, I took it like... Wait, what did, how many? I think three times, maybe? Man. Because I, I was convinced my entire future relied on this. How many times do you take it? I took it like... I think I took it once. Yeah. Damn. I was like, yeah. Yeah. And each time I had to pay yeah. the stupid fee. Why does it cost money yeah. to take a test? This is brain dead, bro. My God. So no one's like... Towards the racket, dude. Oh, also, I gotta tell you, the, the examiner location where, where I took the test, it was filled with noise, bro. The literal examiner was making <laughs> nice, constant nice. noise. The AC was blasted, full blast, and it was, like, broken, so it made this horrible noise. You couldn't even read the thing. Somebody was, like, dropping their pencil case, slowly picking up their pencils, bro. Mid-test, where, like, every second counts. That's how, like, brain dead the SAT is. Goddamn. Nice. Piss me nice. <laughs> Oh. You guys can switch like though. Seven times. Yeah, yeah. She took it. Yeah, I, I only took it once. He took it twice because I feel like then he like might know it. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. The yeah. score. The group will now discuss challenges and facing an essay. And I'm also neurodivergent, so I like every board I check off. I can't really like sit down and take tests. I can't. I like freak out. I don't think that hmm. the score that I got really reflects my intelligence because hmm. of the situ situations they put me into. I don't think that's how like my intelligence really shines through. I feel like I'm in the same boat. I really think the SAT is not a good measurement. I don't think the SAT reflects well oh, my IQ or just how well I could perform in school. I have a diagnosed ADHD. So um, taking tests and just kind of sitting and just being focused on Hey, hey, well, I, I actually thank the SAT now because because I didn't get like a 1500 plus, I got rejected from like the IVs and all these dog sh schools that are just trying to take my money. Okay, I'm, I'm a bit mad, but all right. That was honestly really hard for me. I was diagnosed when I was like six. I would like ask my friends, you know, like, hey, do you guys want to like study like at lunch or something? Because if it weren't for that, I literally would get no help. And I probably either wouldn't have taken the SAT or I would have failed it. I have ADHD as well. So oh, like for me, sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll sit there and like stare at the words and I'm yeah. like, <laughs> oh my God. Everyone has yeah. something. My brain seems... is just like not it, like free. Yeah, I was just going to ask like how prevalent. I feel like a third of people I talk to say that. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, have you like, taken an autism test? I took like an online one. And it's like you're definitely autistic. I'm like, all right, what? Come on, bro. I, I feel like every online autism test says that you're like extremely autistic. I'm like, yo, chill. <laughs> I just like, <laughs> I like to sit. Like, I don't know. I like to chill by myself sometimes. Like, bro's oh, like, you have extreme autism. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> bro's like, like you, need, you need to be in an institution, bro. Jeez. Four hour long midterms. Yeah, literally I feel just like, just like sends hour. like a message to your local like institution <laughs> to come pick you up as soon as you submit your test results. <laughs> Our long test is at least somewhat of a good indicator on how you might perform. What the heck is the bottom of his shirt, bro? Is that his grandma knit that or what? what's happening there? I'm so confused. Is, is that, that is that another is that another shirt underneath or is that like... I do not know, bro. I'm so confused. From those settings. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get that, but I'm in college right now, and the score that I got on SAT would kind of show that I'd be at least decent in college. But then I got there and I failed my first ever class. I feel like maybe you guys at the end should switch just based on like how you value the SAT. Uh, yeah, that's this is a good question. Yeah. How do you guys think you did personally on the SAT? I don't know how you feel, but I feel like both of us could have done better. 
Yeah. I was pretty satisfied, actually. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I don't know. What was your guys' GPAs? Weighted, mine was like a 4.15. 3.8, like 7 or so. I graduated with a 4.2 weighted. 4.6. Wait, did I had like a 4-4? Four, 4-8. Four. Four, so I graduated with a- Bro, she's a mega nerd. 4-4, four, four, I'm pretty sure. I had a 4-6. Wait, what, oh, so is this GPA out of 5? No, GPA is so dumb. GPA is the dumbest thing ever because there are- It's like, it's not consistent across the board. At mm. one high school, you could just like sit in a chair and like write your name on a test and you'd have like a A plus, you get 102 in the class. There's other high schools where you have to struggle True. to barely get a B in physics. Like I, I see GPA and I just don't care. If you get a four, I was, it's like, okay, if you have above a four, which first of all, you shouldn't have above a four. That shouldn't be a thing. Like, is it, is it out of four? And then someone gets a 4.6. I'm like, I, oh, but they've AP, just make it, I don't know. Man. I thought like, it was out I, of five. Well, I, I don't know. I, I didn't was, have a GPA. I, we just I, had we just had out of a hundred. How many marks did you get in each score in each thing? Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's I don't know. There's just so much inconsistency across the board. Someone yeah. could get like a four point oh and just like barely do anything. So I'm like, I yeah. I just I just don't really care. I was a mega bot, bro. In high school, I had a ninety nine. In college, I got all Fs. <laughs> Complete change. Yeah, same here. Okay, if you want. Yeah. Do you do you twins on a switch? Yeah. Or wait, no. Because oh, okay, because here's my thinking, right? He had a higher GPA and he wasn't satisfied with his score, and you had a lower GPA and you were satisfied. So maybe since the bars are different, oh, why yeah. did you guys? Bro, why this does like... his buckle look like a uh, like a car, like a car logo? What the heck is that? Looks like a BMW. Oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, Volkswagen. Car logo. I don't know. Yeah. Why that? But this is like trippy. I know, you're this right. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, what if you guys had like exactly the same score, but because your bars, like your, but, but I don't know. Like, do you think your GPAs correlate to your test taking abilities? Yeah. I feel like it depends on like the school you go to. If you go to a school that is Damn. not funded well, all they're trying to do is push people Connor out to speak graduate. Like, obviously, your, the scores you get might not reflect what you'll get on the SAT, but if you go to a school that pours money and funding into making sure that yeah. everyone is getting the best education they can get and all that, then of course, like, you might do better, if that makes sense. But I don't think that the right, GPA... The person at the school that's not well-funded who got a 4.5 and the person at the school that's not well-funded who got a 3, the person who got the 4.5 probably got a better SAT score, right? But we I don't know that. What if you? What if yeah. they woke up on yeah, the but, wrong side of the bed that but day? We're talking about... Facts, facts, because that, like, people, I, unironically, Every time I take a test, I would myself. So it's like, it's like, it's not fair. I was nerfed in every single test, okay? My score is like 10 yeah, points yeah. higher every test. Yeah, it's hard because it's like, I've had this, con I, I, I've had this conversation with people all the time because like, I don't like the SAT. I was very ups, I was like very kind of disappointed with the way that like it was done. I'm like, is there not a better way to do it? But then I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, there's no, like, it it's really hard to have some kind of subjective measure across the board. You know what I mean? Because grades are dependent on the school. An A in one school is not an A in another school, right? Mm -hmm. It's hard for colleges not to have some sort of benchmark. Of yeah, ability. they need a benchmark. Well, I it just needs to not be the SAT because it's a dog exam. Yeah, the SAT kind of sucks. I think the colleges should come together and make their own or kind of come up with something. Right now, it's this college board, which is some kind of like company that's like, oh, well, mm, I don't yeah. know. Like, I'm look, I'm all for like companies trying to like make money on most of things. But I, yeah. I think in this situation, it's the incentives are a little weird. My SAT score gave me an indication that I would do well in college, but I did not even close to well. It was like the worst experience ever. So a generalization here. Yeah. I come from a really big public school of predominantly um, Hispanics and like immigrants. I feel like our school's main goal was to get them to at least graduate because our graduation rate is pretty low. SATs were optional. We didn't really talk about it much. It was a lot of kids at our school. It, it was like, I think like 3,000 or so. So it was like one counselor to like 100 kids. So if you're not showing that you want to actually do good in school, then we're just not even gonna really bother you, so. SAT scores like on average across the US are like directly proportional to like annual household income even Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Emily, you little bitch. Okay. 
Shut up. Shut up, Emily. Listen, I don't I don't like Emily now. This is you how dare you say my income is proportional to my SAT score, all right? It's a stupid how is this how does that make any sense? I just don't understand. So like I've seen some stuff on that. I directly proportional, that's uh, that's a little bit bold because your income is not gonna one hundred percent reflect your SAT score. I think what she saw and what she's saying is like, oh well, if you have a lot of money, you can hire the expensive SAT tutor, you can take a billion practice. Because like even you were saying like these tests mm. were getting mad expensive like that's yeah. annoying um so you could take you in theory could take a lot of could take a lot of practice tests you still have to be extremely driven but there are some fi like fi having financial having a financial edge can be an advantage if you have the drive to bro do i don't think that's what I, she's I saying. saying it's directly for huh? i think i think she's saying that people who score higher on the sat will just earn more later in life that's what she's saying Mm, I don't think that's what she's saying. Wait, let's, let me saying. hear it back. Let me hear it back. Cool, then we're just not even going to really bother you, so. SAT scores, like, on average across the U.S. are, like, directly proportional to, like, annual household income. Even though we can, like, kind of laud it as this, like, oh, like, perfect meritocratic system, it's actually not that, and it's, like, very affected by, like... Oh, you're right, you're right. That's what she's saying. Okay, I take it back, Emily. I Goddamn. I on it. All right. <laughs> the socioeconomic, like, inequality in the U.S. You know, you also can't do a standardized test on kids where they all had vastly different like teachers with different teaching styles and different grading like so yeah, like so that's why you take a bunch of classes yeah exactly so it it, it does like it generally does, i think yeah it's kind of a no-brainer that your gpa for two people that went to the same school or similar schools GPA would at least be a good determining factor of what you may have got on the SAT. Your GPA could fluctuate. I had a freshman and sophomore year, I had a 4.6. Junior year, I had a 2.4 because of stuff that was going on with my family. There are some hardships that you can go through that make your experience with schooling a lot more difficult than it would be if it was just smooth sailing. But during my time, during the time I was taking the SAT, like, I went to rehab for four months. I know what it's like to go through some really hard stuff. Facts, people don't consider the rest of the stuff that you're going through, man. And I, I, I felt yeah. really bad as well. I had that mindset in school as well. Like, oh, the people who score the highest, they're like the smartest, the brightest people of the bunch. And the people who score lowest, like, oh, they're the complete idiots. They're wasting their life away. Yeah. And then and then in college, I ended up being that guy who, who, who was the mm. failure in class, right? And then I realized that, hey, wait, <laughs> I guess we shouldn't judge people like that. They probably have something else going on, right? All the failures are YouTubers. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Basically. And yeah, it didn't make it easy. But at the same time, like, hard work is hard work. Before uh, COVID, I definitely valued myself a lot on my, like, GPA or, like, any, like, school grades and stuff. But then during COVID, I realized like there's more to life. I valued like quality time with my friends and family a lot more. Before COVID, I was like really ambitious. Like I made sure I did. Well. Wait, her name's Chi Chi. Damn, that's a cool name, Chi Chi. <laughs> All my classes, like I really applied myself. But then COVID hit, and it was my yeah, my, senior yeah, my year. best friend in high and school's name was Chi Chi. So close, close enough. Damn. year in college and I just lost like all motivation. No, I'm with you there where it's like as soon as COVID hit, online school started, I just did not care about focusing on school at all. Yeah. I like, I put, open my laptop, join yeah. the meeting and then I just go get food downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah guys, COVID affected me yeah. so much, so much that, you know, cause I used to go out every single day and meet tons of friends. It affected me so much. <laughs> yeah. Like during that whole period, the motivation to actually do stuff was so much lower. Like mm. I, I was kind of a sweaty nerd. Um, but even then I was like, yeah, I don't know. Like I, I, loved, I, I was just kind of listen, I loved online school because anytime I was in a Zoom call, I was watching an anime episode. It just Zoom was muted. I'm watching anime. <laughs> like that's all I was doing. So I mean, I see how people with a life would actually be affected, but <laughs> yeah, I, I remember in, in like the moment that it hit, it was just kind of like, well, what's the point? Why bother? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You... How much, how much pressure did like your family put on you to take the SAT? Ooh. Oh, a lot. None. <laughs> None. None. Not a lot. I think so much, man. So much. Goddamn, it was. We had to go to this whole like institution of training for the SAT. Like, is this? Well, it wasn't an institution. It was some some random tutor's home or something with a bunch of other kids, completely soulless absolute bots working like 20 hours a day and i was just so depressed i was like oh, i don't i can't i can't deal with this like what about you did yeah. you do you how were you studying for the sat 
I could have definitely gone harder. I had a lot of class, a lot of classmates that ended up going to like crazy good colleges and stuff that put in, put in more hours than I did for sure. Mm. I don't know. I, I could have definitely put in more work. There was there's a big emphasis on college where mm. I went. Um, I ended up doing fine. I think it all worked out though. If you were in like a more intensive college, you probably wouldn't be able to do YouTube. Maybe. Yeah, that's another thing too. Like I would have. It worked out at the yeah. end of the day, guys. It'll it'll always work out in the end. Yeah, he we wouldn't be able to be be famous enough to meet the great almighty Pegasus, obviously. <laughs> The, exactly. the highlight of his life, obviously. Not a lot. Quite a lot of pr I think because my family is like, I'm a first generation immigrant, but my parents, I feel like they're also first generation immigrants. So I feel like they put like a lot of emphasis on like, like meritocracy and like working hard to get there just because like initially we didn't have like the resources to like yeah. do it another way. I am also a first generation American. Um, I'm Nigerian so my mom is like very like you have to make sure that you're doing everything right because your sisters are watching after you like you have to make sure you grow up and get all these A's so that they have an example to follow. So it was very hard for me to Damn, I hate kind of separate parental myself pressure. from my kids because if I did and I failed, then I'm disappointing not only my mom, but my three little sisters. You seem like someone who's probably a really hard worker. Yeah. And I think in that sense, you probably sh I feel like I, your I drive's higher than probably. mine. <laughs> yeah. I had so much stress because if I failed, I would get deported from the country. <laughs> Just I, would, I had a different fucking level of stress, bro. Oh, goddamn. Uh, okay. <laughs> probably. I, I think, Breaking yeah. up the twins. No, <laughs> I, like I do gotta say, I, the way you've been talking and all that, I feel like you have at least a better one than me. <laughs> It's just a gut I, feeling, I, kind of, I, but I, think I, think I, I disagree. You disagree? Yeah. I'll yeah. take that as a compliment. I, I, <laughs> I disagree too. Do <laughs> you guys want to lock in your answer? Do you feel good? I'm so scared. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, Emily at the top. Let's go. I, I yeah, definitely. Yeah, my guy's definitely. My guy's definitely got like a twenty on it, bro. Like... <laughs> Maybe it's the car buckle guy, bro. Food. Who knows? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Group will now be ranged based on the actual SAT uh, scores. Jack at 1160. Bruh! <laughs> oh yeah. no! How did you pick the lowest one? What's the probability of you picking the lowest one, bro? All right, well, the obvious answer, I couldn't pick her. So I was choosing randomly. Yeah. I chose the computer science major. Those are normally either, those are either coasters, kind of like me, or they're insanely sweaty. So I was yeah. like, all right, well, that's probably a decent. At least go for number two, bro. <laughs> Last. <laughs> My God, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, trolling because right. I totally stole your pick, but yeah. I was really surprised as the bottom. I mean. I didn't think I was that bad, but... Carla at but 11 why did, they, why did they zoom out the cam like that, bro? What the yeah. hell are they doing? They faded out his voice, like, as if he's, like, super sad. Hey, Jack, don't give a shit about your SAT, bro. You can be a failure and still earn bank. I didn't think I was that bad, but... Carla at 1170. Michael at 1280. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kylie at 1320. Chi Chi at 1360. Emily at 1400. Oh, let's go. Michael at 1500. Let's go. Emily at 1600. 1600? She, oh, no, 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 bro. She's one of those. Well, I have no, okay. Well, she took like 47 APs, so I don't, I'm not, I'm not surprised. Nah, nah, guys. I have never met a sane person on the planet who has scored 1600. She is messed up in yeah. the head. There is no sane person on the planet who gets a 1600. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, okay, I, 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 okay. For those of you who don't know the SAT, the difference between a 1500 and a 1600 is absolutely insane. You gotta have something wired in your brain to be. Uh, 1600 means you didn't miss a single. You missed one or you missed like one or less or zero questions, depending yeah. on how they grade it. And the thing is, like for me, if I tried for the next two years, every day I, I tried for the like I studied the SAT, I still couldn't get a 1600. Meaning she's born like that, you know. Obviously, she put in work, but she also has some like natural busted brain. How is someone yeah. supposed to do better than you? Are you sure? Like, are you working for them? I, got, I was surprised that Emily just didn't go forward and put herself up front. Like, there's nobody who's getting higher than her, at least. Like, impossible. Without a calculator. Yeah. Okay, let's That's talk wrong. about this for a second. That's crazy. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, huh? Bruh, Emily. Hey, wait, I'll take the dub. I, I mean, I knew she was on top, but really 1600? Jesus. Sorry, Connor. I, I guess next time you get to choose, all right? I'll take all the right, dub. That here. sounds good. <laughs>
Huh? I'm going to Stanford. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, I'm going to USC. I go to the University um, of Michigan. I also go to USC. Cal State Long Beach. Um, I'm going to the new school in New York. Oh, I got accepted to Berkeley, but I'm going to community college. It's just, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go to UCSD. Well, yes. when I got to college, like <laughs> the first two weeks, everyone was talking about, oh my God, I got a 1500, I got a 16, like this and that. But I don't know, I just feel like I got in here with a 1360. I don't think it really matters. As soon as I said computer science, you guys threw me all the way up. <laughs> then when you look, UCSD is like top 15 in the nation for CS. Yeah. So yeah. It's just, I don't think it reflects too much. I think we're at the same intellectual capabilities. Again, like if he's not even higher, that just made me, I was like, the SAT is like, just not a good scale at all. That's not. Facts. Also, I will say uh, yeah. there was only like, I think there was like only two or three people from my school who went to um, Stanford and they were all absolutely insufferable. So I don't know. I don't know, uh, Emily. Accurate reflection or of who he is. Whoever the other one is. At the end of the day, you all got into the same school regardless yeah. of your stats. So yeah. like, I feel like if you maybe lacked SAT score, you made it up for it somewhere else. I have to ask, when I asked you to switch, why did you hesitate? <laughs> I don't, I, I just don't want to be me. <laughs> I don't want to be mean. The old classic, yeah. be honest. Yeah, we're gonna know your score at the end of the day. It doesn't matter. Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like, bye bye.